this was definitely the most difficult part of my conversion yet. on taking off some stickers which are going to be the death of me it's horrible it's the worst job worse than the sub floor so far it's the worst I haven't gotten one square inch of it clean and I've been working my butt off here's a small taste of what it's been like to take these stickers off the reflectors they've been so stuck and when there's this white stuff leave behind it's brutal um, so this is pre soap goo gone and a coarse wire brush. One of my biggest problems wasn't just the sanding it to get it like roughed up. Um, it was the residue that was left from the reflectors. It just was so hard to do. All right, it's been a few days, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of what I've done. Um, the bumper front and back, I used a citrus strip right here, and we cleaned that up really well. And then here I started sanding off the clear coat, and you can see there's still some here, and this got really daunting, so I took a break. <laughs> we did more citrus strip on the rub guards which were painted green horribly and it was peeling off so I did the citrus strip on those and removed all of that and used a variety of different uh, sanding things to uh, accomplish the scuffing and you can see that this part right here has been sanded pretty well and then this part where it gets um, almost cloudier is where it still needs to be sanded really well on the body of it. Here's a brief look at a few things that I used to prep my spoolie for paint. A heat gun, which I picked up at Walmart after my original failed, and some sort of scraping tool. Sanding discs. This is a hand sander that you could put whatever grit you need to use. You can see the lovely yellow paint there. This is for my orbital sander. It's a 220 grit, no 120. And this is a foam sanding block and you can see I got some good use out of that. This worked okay for the ridges because I was able to squish it in between the ridges of the rub guards. I also tried steel wool on some very tough spots, um, especially the reflectors. I had to use um, an enormous amount of Goo Gone and these wire cup brushes. These are a different abrasive sanding discs for your drill. This one is by 3M and this one was for the tougher spots and this one also by 3M a little softer and this one is by Heart. I didn't really care for this one. One other thing I tried was these nylon wire brush sets and this one did come in handy with some of that really goopy stuff because it, as it spun it kind of flung it as well and with these wire cups it tend to just circle them and just leave the mess on the bus this kind of flung them out another thing i use kind of in conjunction with the goo gone 
is my power washer that I picked up. A cheap one, Hyper Tough from Walmart. I actually tried that and that did help get rid of some of the goo. You can see my window guards here, which have worked really well. Um, I used um, some magnet magnets from Walmart, the craft section. They're the strong ones. And this is a cheap shower curtain that I cut up into sections. And then I just use a section of tape above the whole top of the window and then on each side to help secure them. And that's been holding up really well to keep all the rain out. One thing you might notice is I don't have a ton of footage of me working on the paint prep because it was such a difficult and long drawn out process that I only have a few clips of it. I ended up getting help from my husband and the kids so that I could get it done as fast as possible because we were battling some freezing temperatures and we were able to get our first coat of paint done before the first snowfall, so.